I love this pond. It was one of the reasons I bought the house because it had such a big pond. And I knew that one day it would be filled with turtles. So I've got to be faster than a turtle. Do you think I can do it? Oh boy, I think I'm faster than a turtle. Look at that face. How gorgeous is he? Look at the size difference between these two, huh? Is that incredible? I just want to see these guys in a more naturalistic environment. They're getting too big for the tubs. But look at how, is that awesome, guys? Have you ever seen a big or Lydia turtle walking? He does that high walk, just like an alligator. They get up real high. But you want to see something interesting and a little bit sad? Hey, what's going on? Kevin here. We're over by the big pond. You can see all the turtles and fish are trying to get some food. Here comes a giant wood turtle about to plop right in the water so he can eat. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the Malaysian giant pond turtle because I want to talk about it. And I want to show you what we're going to do with some of the young ones that have been living in a tub. We're going to uh, put them in the ponds out front. It's time for them to graduate. But before we did that, I wanted to show you just how big these suckers can get. So right now, what I've got to do is I've got to hopefully lure him up. Otherwise, we don't have a video. Now, normally I see him during my feeding, so we're just going to go ahead and feed and get some of these turtles out. And uh, yeah, it should be a fun video. The Malaysian giant pond turtle, or Lydia borneensis. Really cool turtle that you don't often see a lot in captivity because they grow so large. It can get up to 100 pounds. So, okay, people. There he is. There's his massive head. I'm going to try and get in there and capture him so we can continue with this video. He is awesome. He's big, but um, he's also wily. So I've got to be faster than a turtle. Do you think I can do it? Here we go. Oh boy, I think I'm faster than a turtle. Woo! You can't catch a turtle by moving like a turtle. Okay, so I'm glad we got this guy because I really wanted to talk about him. He's awesome. We've done some swimming with. We've done videos like that. Let's bring them out here. And you can really just see how beautiful this animal is. Really big oblong shell. And the story of this guy is I got him from the Turtle Survival Alliance back in 2009. And I didn't see him for such a long time. And guess what? He was half as big as he is now. But only about four years ago, I started noticing a giant head. And I realized it was not one of my Asian pond turtles. It was actually the Malaysian giant pond turtle oh man uh i meant not my asian giant wood turtles that's an that's a malaysian giant pond turtle it gets a little confusing but from now on i'm going to call him orlydia because he is orlydia borneensis and he is the only one in that genus look at that face how gorgeous is he huh so I just love this turtle. And I started posting about him on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. And my friend Lauren Gurney from the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, turns out she is the Turtle Survival Alliance stud bookkeeper for this species of turtle. And look at, he's got little algae growing on his neck. They love laying at the bottom of the ponds. They love burrowing into the mud. That's why you don't often see them until they come up for food or when they're large enough to be seen. So Lauren saw the videos and said, hey, Kenan, this is a species we need help placing from zoological institutions because they get so big that some of their private uh, Turtle Survival Alliance members can't hold on to them. And of course, the Miami Zoo had this turtle uh, and they had just too many of them in tubs and they were looking for good homes. Well, as you can see, I live in South Florida. I've got a giant pond, so I was happy to take this species. And that's just what I did. I took this species from my friends at Zoo Miami and I've been helping them out ever since. Now, since then, I've, uh, I've gotten a few more large males. We've got larger females, but there's about 25 of these animals now inside the pond. Um, and you can see he wants to go back in. And we're gonna let him go in, but I just wanted to show you something really cool. Now, I got some young specimens from Zoo Miami, as you can see, here they are. And they're growing up nicely, and eventually they're gonna live in that big pond. But I wanted to show you what they start out as. Look at this. Look at the size difference between these two, huh? Is that incredible? I think it's awesome. I think they're an amazing little species, uh, or rather large species. And today, I wanna put these guys back into, hey guy, look, look at that. It's one of maybe your offspring, I don't know. But um, we're gonna put this little dude in one of the aquascape ponds out front because 
I just want to see these guys in a more naturalistic environment. They're getting too big for the tubs. Um, they can be aggressive to other turtles um, that are smaller than them. And I had them in with these Reeves turtles. So let me go ahead and get him back in the pond, put him back in this bucket, close up that food, and uh, this should be cool. But look at how, is that awesome, guys? Have you ever seen a big Orlydia turtle walking? He does that high walk, just like an alligator. They get up real high. So let me grab him up. Come here, my friend. Oh my God, one arm in it. Yeah, gotta do the squats, kids. Anyway, let's put him back over here so he can get back in and start eating some more food. I'll throw some more food out too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whew, you gotta be quick on your feet with these guys. Go ahead, little buddy. Go on, you big man. Hey, look, see, there's the Asian wood turtles. He's going back in, no drama. None the worse for wear. We're throwing some more food out for everybody. Let's get them all happy, shall we? Very, very good stuff. I love this pond. It was one of the reasons I bought the house because it had such a big pond. And I knew that one day it would be filled with turtles. So um, I guess, you know, dreams can come true, kids. You too can have a large pond filled with turtles. All right, a couple more handfuls. And then I think it's time for us to move on to the next part of our video. And that is putting these little boogers into the front pond. Okay, I'm a little wet, no big deal. All right, how cool, huh? So as you know, my friends at Aquascape built me two beautiful Aquascape ecosystem ponds over the years. They've actually built me, I think we're on four, and then right over there is a, a crate filled with a pondless waterfall system that we're gonna be making here soon in the next few weeks. Uh, as a drinking fountain for some of my tortoises. So pretty excited about that too. But today We're going original. We're going back to the original aquascape ecosystem pond Here it is. I thinned out some of the ferns that were growing up It's looking really good as you can see. We've got fish. We've got turtles and Soon to add more turtles. I'm gonna put two of these guys in here put them right on i like putting the water turtles on a rock so that they can breathe and take their own take their own breath and kind of go right in the water as they see fit so go on little buddy i'm waiting on you this is going to be your home now they were in this pond a while back but they were too small and i kind of got worried and now they've grown up we got the electric fence around the whole property we've got the electric fence around this environment he's just taking a look look at that He's actually just saying, what's going on here? I don't know this place, but he's about to, because he's gonna plunge right in there and get going. Any second now, any second now, he's gonna go in the water all the way. And, and he's gonna start swimming. He's gonna make new friends. Any second, I'm telling you, that's what he's gonna do. Go in the water, go swim, fly, be free. That was from Mork and Mindy. An early 80s, late 70s TV show based on Mort starring, uh, you know, Robin Williams. I don't know. Showing my age. I am a, a vat of worthless information when it comes to ancient pop culture. Anyway, the Orlydia Boyances, like I said, these guys are good swimmers, but they do spend a great deal of their time on the bottom of ponds and river systems. They love burrowing in the mud. They eat food off the bottom of the uh, water bodies. They'll eat anything. They're omnivores. They're going to eat plant matter, animals, uh, carrion, which is dead animals. So they, they really are cool like that. You know what? I can't wait all day. I just can't do it. You know? Um, let's see if this guy will be any quicker. Put him on the log. We'll put him on this rock right here. Right there. There you go. Hi. Will you be any faster than your buddy? Are you going to go in any quicker? It's a whole new world for you. There's plants and other buddies. This guy's still here. And, um, you know, what do you think, dude? You gonna go? Come on, man. They are what I would call trepidatious. A little concerned. They're, you know, they've been so used to the tub over the last few months. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on, little guys. Oh, yeah, we got an arm. We got a leg going down. And we got a winner, people. We got turtle in the water over. Turtle in the water, gonna introduce him to this big Caliger. Hey, big Caliger. All right, I love, I love him, Caliger girl. Uh, anyway, now this little dude's gotta do it. Come on, I'll just tip him a little. Oh, there you go, he's gone. Now, just to give you an idea, a 
with what's happening in this pond. There they go. See him? Hey, little guy. Keep going, little guy. Swimming. All right. I love this stuff. It is fun to play. Make the turtles' lives better. Okay, watch this, peoples. I'm going to reach in here, and I'm going to pull out another or Lydia that's been living in here. And this guy right now is growing up nicely. He will soon be able to graduate to the big pond. Very, very soon, to be honest. I think that would be pretty cool. Actually, I think we're going to move him today. What do you think? Let's do it. He's big enough. It's time to graduate. It's graduation day. And the reason I want to do this today is because I just put smaller Orladia in there. And I don't know if this one would bully him. But you want to see something interesting and a little bit sad? So many of these animals came out of the food trade. And sometimes um, in the food trade in Asia, uh, which these animals are from, they're from Malaysia, um, and they're sought after because they grow large and they can have a lot of meat. So they become a very... Uh, you know, kind of hunted species because of that. I don't know if you guys can see this. Do you see this hole that's been drilled into his, into his carapace, into the marginals here? Um, that, it, or coastals rather. Uh, is it marginals? This is the margin, these are the coastals, those are the vertebrals. I forget, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I forget more than I know. Um, anyway, you could see that hole. They will drill holes in them so they can hang them by strings and the turtles just sit there and hang. So it's very sad, um, you know, that this little guy's got that hole, but it shows you that he was once uh, a wild critter. Um, sucks. Now they also notch these turtles in the TSA. There's a, a system of notching. They put little notches in them so that they can count them and identify them, but that's not what that hole's from. Okay, here we go. There you go, buddy. It's a big world out there, a giant pond. Don't be frightened. You can do it. Get on in there. Look at that place. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Like a turtle to water. Okay. So that's awesome. Before I forget, I want to pull this out. I don't want this to get rained on. That's a problem. I'll have to get that later. Let's continue with the video. Because that's why you're here. You're not here to see me take care of the food. You're seeing me take care of the turtles. We got two more to release. Um, I love this species. I've been mentioning them a lot. And it's, it's just awesome that, you know, folks like TSA consider me a place that they'd want to, you know, allow these animals to be. And um, I, I really love what the Turtle Survival Alliance does. So we have two more that, let's go ahead and just put them in the other ecosystem pond, the Aquascape Pond, which is affectionately called Sophia's Pond, because it's right by Sophia's window. I cleared out some of the... Uh, foliage here as well and we've got a bunch of little guys our Central American sliders are here but now we're gonna have Orlidia boniensis come on come on guys there you go look there's two new buddies you guys can hang out with and you know it's gonna be great guys it's gonna be a good time for you go ahead that first step's always the hardest but Whoa, oh jeez, that was it. These guys were nothing like the last set. How do you like that, everyone? Very good stuff. All right, well, that concludes today's release. Very happy about it, loving it. And um, man, it's always cool to have all these different enclosures so that I can raise them up and then move them on and get them into uh, a more exciting situation or a more naturalistic one. I love keeping animals in that type of way because it's just the way I believe they should be kept. However, you can do a fantastic job in a waterland tub. That's where these guys are raised up. I'm just currently refilling it. We've got our Japanese wood turtle. This little guy right here is doing well. And we still have these beautiful, be hold on a second, any second now, beautiful little Chinese reef turtles. Excuse me, these are Japanese reef turtles. So awesome little species. That's full size. Isn't that amazing? Full size turtle. That's why they're staying in here for a bit longer. And I'm gonna have to build them maybe an ecosystem pond that I'm gonna partner with some of my new uh, friends at customcages.com. We're gonna build one of the cages uh, that's getting delivered next week for some of my lizards. Um, but I'd like to do one of those cages over a smaller aquascape ecosystem pond to build the ultimate hatchling rearing station here at the camp. Oh, 
I gotta go. I bet you it's my wife. Oh, anyway. Yeah, it's my wife. I gotta take this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Kate Rock and Roll, because she's a rocker, you know? Anyway, guys, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later. Hi, dear. Let me just say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. I gotta go. That's it for that video.